Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is John, the Bumbling Golfer here, episode number 11. Uh, just wanted to kind of take a quick minute uh, prior to the podcast getting going and thank uh, Ryan Connolly for coming on. Um, Ryan is a very interesting guy who puts out some really cool things on YouTube, interesting, kind of thought-provoking stuff, at least from my perspective. Um, he's just a he's just a guy who loves to play golf, and he's a he's a uh, a space guy. So he's big into you know like NASA kind of stuff, and he actually worked for NASA, um, uh, which is really really cool. So anyway, uh, thanks for listening. Uh, shout out to Acorn Hills, and uh, if you're looking for some great apparel, go to acornhillsco.com, hit up uh, their site, check out what they have, and at checkout, use code BUMBLE15, B-U-M-B-L-E-1-5, uh, for 15% off your entire order. Thank you again. Thank you again for listening, um, and yeah, more to come. Hey, everyone, it's John. Kelly, the Bumbling Golfer here with uh, episode number 11 of the Bumbling Golfer uh, podcast, we'll call it. Um, there's a video for this as well. Um, I have a guest today with me. Uh, his name's Ryan Connolly. He is known as the Professor on social media. Um, really interesting stuff. Uh, he creates some pretty cool, actually very informative uh, YouTube videos. Um, but uh Ryan and I, we've been going back and forth for probably about a year. And uh, he's obviously an Eagles fan. He's got the Eagles hat on. Um, and uh, he's in the Philadelphia region as well. And uh, so hopefully we end up doing some sort of, you know, collaboration somewhere down the road where, or, or look, at the very least, we go play golf. So, um, again, Ryan, the professor, super interesting thing that I think we're going to talk about first, and then we'll get into some other things. Um, if you're watching right now, you can see, on the screen, uh, he uh, so here in the U.S. For those of you who are not in the U.S., uh, we had a total solar eclipse on the central part of the country. So uh, Ryan went out and actually played golf during the totality of the solar eclipse. You got to check his video out. It's absolutely astonishing how dark it got. Um, I'm here. I was still here in the Philadelphia area. So it got to like 80%. It was, it was weird, but it wasn't completely dark. Like what I saw for you. Um, so Ryan, welcome, man. I appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, John, thank you so much. Um, I'm, I'm excited. This has been some months in the making and, uh, I, you know, I, we're striking it while it's hot. So I just got back recently. So I'm, I'm glad we're getting it in. So I'm grateful just to kind of tag up and then eventually we're going to be playing some golf hopefully. So. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, so what, um, I guess, when did this whole thing come into play for you? Like when, when were you like, oh, I think I have to go do this. Okay. So, um, a little bit of background. I missed the last one, which happened in 2017. Um, I love space, you know, space is that I'm very passionate in space. I work as a resource analyst at NASA and I was an intern at NASA since 2016 to 2018. I got uh, internships and con contract jobs and uh right now you know, I'm, you know i'm in so it's it's a good thing and i'm just trying to take uh you know advantage of anything that's a, a huge opportunity like this with space so i took off and i said i'm going to go play this a couple months ago and i took my cousin i like to call him cousin Vinny. He's probably in this picture somewhere i'm blocking him but right. uh he's very jersey as well and um you know, we, we just decided to go do this. We took one day and stayed at a local casino and it was an experience, John. It was, I recommend anyone just to go see something like that. It was, a, you know, I know it's not gonna happen anytime soon now, but uh, it was really, I'm really grateful to have done it and to tr at least absorb some of it by uh, you know, watching it and then having it on camera too, so. Yeah, for sure. So where did you actually go? What, where were you at and what golf it, course were you at? So it was a lot of resource, a lot of uh, digging into resources of, of uh, different golf courses and seeing if they're open. Because at the time, during that elevation and, and where I was looking in the line of totality, there wasn't many courses that were open. And uh, I went back and forth with this one gentleman, JR, from Cedars Golf Course. And uh, he was very open that we're not going to have the greatest conditions, you know, the courses. And you can see from the video that the court conditions were great. Um, 
And long story short, you know, I think there was a gut feeling that that's going to be the place to be. There was a lot of cloud coverage. It was a real small town. Um, leaving there, it was it was very unique. Everyone was watching the cars leave. You know, if they were on the side of the street living there. Um, but yeah, it just it just so happens that that one lined up with about three minutes and forty seconds of totality. So we were able just to run with that, and I I figure that's going to be a good spot. And he's open to just having a little bit of freedom too, which I think you kind of know as uh, you know going out there and just having a camera on the golf course. It's nice to know that people are comfortable, you know, while yeah. you're doing it. And I think that's what I try to do is to, like you said, I, I provide some sort of educational content. I, I don't want to be broadcasting anything. And um, and then with that said, I also like to have people comfortable. So Jr. He was very open that he would love something nice. like that. And what, what was the golf course, Cedars? Cedars Golf Club, or golf course, I guess technically it's called. It's full 18 holes. You only had nine open at the time, and it's right on the border of the Anirondack. So it's a special place in my eyes, and a little bit of history on it. It was built in 1979, and he, uh, it was in the family, too. So JR you know, lived there and, and worked there for his whole life. So it was a very interesting story behind it, and I, I didn't know until I got there and got you know, talking with them. And I think that's what's so fun about doing stuff like this is like, okay, it's 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 something I want to do, but then along the way, I'm I'm meeting people like you, John, and I'm and I'm kind of you know absorbing different conversations and learning more, you know, more importantly. So it's yeah, it, it's it was a really cool experience. I'm I'm grateful to yeah. have done something like that. So how how far away from like the Philadelphia area was it? Six like, hours. So okay. The, so the reason, so the reason I'm asking is I love hearing stories about golf courses like that, right? So I would love to be able to go out and, you know, and play that course and support small business owners, you know, like there's a couple of places that I am planning on going this, this summer um, where they're family owned and I, you know, I see their stories, their reels on Instagram and, you know, you you bring up a really interesting point, right? So taking a camera on a course i've talked about this a little bit it, it can be a challenge sometimes not necessarily for the owners but for some of the people right so you know a lot of the recording that i do is late in the afternoon i think you and i've talked about that i like to play you know after two o'clock or after three o'clock number one i like the affordability piece of it right i'm not going to pay i don't want to pay 75 dollars for a course that i could pay 50 dollars for after three o'clock right um yeah. So anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll talk more about that in a bit, but yeah. How interesting was it that it just turned into night in the middle of the day? And I, I love the fact that you use the glow balls, right? And it just such an interesting time to do it. So I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I remember the one in 2017, I believe I was with my kids at great adventure in Jackson, New Jersey. And I remember having the the glasses and all that, and it, it was really weird, but it I don't it wasn't like totality, right? I was just kind of like, uh, it's just a solar eclipse or whatever. It's not going to get dark. From what I saw, it got like pitch black in the middle of the day, and you know that to me, I mean, it, to your point, it, it's cool. Like I'll it'll never happen in my lifetime again in the U.S. So. Oh. You know, you got it on film. It might, it might not, but I mean, you're the NASA guy. I'm not. <laughs> I think it was yeah, 2045 was, the next time. Yeah, you got 22 years. So I, you got some golf in you, you know, by all means. I think we all do. So I hope I have that many in me. <laughs> we'll be shooting but, uh, this, that's your age. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, yeah. So, so how, how long did it take you to plan this? Well, you know, it, it did take some time. It, I would say I just wrote it down about three weeks out, um, depending on the weather. So it was really lo location was key because I heard horror stories uh, from other people that had been in, in a big city. So I didn't want to get stuck. And um, I figured, OK, let me target these small cities. And obviously there's not many roads out there. So you either have a golf course on the road or you don't. And um, there was three or four in these two locations. I was worried about cloud coverage off the lakes, so I kind of moved it in a little bit. I didn't want to go too far in the Anirondacks because it gets real busy um, if there's a lot of cars in that area, even though it's beautiful. So there was this line that had three courses on it. I called all of them. They seemed to be open, um, but they were, you know, and 
I played one before. Uh, we got up there, played a course, played nine holes, got some footage. I got the scorecard here, ledges, which is cool. And there's, okay. there's an interesting story with that too. But um, but yeah, so they played that, and then we got to JR's course, uh, Cedars, and we just kind of got right to work and we played nine. And it just so happens it finished right on time, and we got 20 minutes to set up. And I, I tell you what, it looks like it's clean and organized, but it was – you know, there's it was a little chaotic just trying to make sure everything yeah. was in order so you know um it was it was a lot of planning i i would say but it, when you're passionate about something I, I think it just you don't really think about it you know so i wanted yeah. i wanted to yeah. do this and um if i could have done it I, I think it's a cool thing that i could say i i was able to do so yeah that was my no, goal. That, i i think yeah i think that's awesome because like you know not not in a bad way, but you got to geek out over a couple things that you really like, right? So golf and like space and all that. Like, I, again, I'm not, I, I know very little about really anything to be honest with you. Right. But I love golf and I know how much fun it can be. I know that how exciting it is. I still talk with some of my friends about finishing in the dark at broad run because we got a late start and it's not a course that you play very quickly. And we still talk about there was, uh, I think one of the owners came by in his golf cart with, he had like the underglow underneath of it. And it looked like a spaceship coming down the, down, down the way. But, you know, to your point, there are those things that you really, you look at and you're like, you know, I did that. And, and I, I think it's pretty cool because you have it on film, right? So you're going to be able to show anyone who wants to see it. And, and obviously it's on YouTube and I'll put a link um, uh, on this video to that video. Um, but yeah, that's, that's crazy, man. And, and what did you finish with score wise on that one? Hole? Uh, um, it was a sloppy bogey, I would say, you know, I, I, <laughs> one could say I didn't let the balls, you know, stop and then hit it. But my, my, you know, cousin Vinny four putted, and I think it got in my head. I had a really nice chip up. That was all honest and truthful. And, uh, yep. it was right there. It was a gimme putt in my eyes and he four putted. I hate to throw, he's not going to. Yeah, he's he's he doesn't really live on YouTube anyway, so he's he loves being on it, but he doesn't he doesn't really get yeah. too involved in it. So well, I mean, to your point, you you had to you had to not only set it up, you had to play the hole, you had to r literally run down to the hole, yeah. and you had to video the entire thing, not only you but also your cousin. So uh, yeah, man, it was very cool video, and and you know, to be honest with you, it's nice and short, right? It's only a few minutes long. And, you know, it doesn't take much time to watch. And I, I think for me, the, the most fun part of it is like hearing the excitement in your voice. Like it was, it was great, man. Like really it, 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 it made me think like, you know, I, th I think a lot of times we let the fun not enter into what we're doing, especially when we're playing golf, right? Like there's nothing better than hitting like a great shot, right. Or doing something goofy and really laughing hard with, with your friends or, you know, people that you like to play golf with. So well done, dude. Well done. It was, uh, it was very cool to watch. And, uh, I think I watched it like three minutes after it came right up on my TV and, and I watched yeah. it and, and, uh, yeah, that was good. That was good. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, everyone, I will put a link, um, in the description on YouTube below and I also put a link We'll put a link on the um, on the Instagram posts as well. So, all right. So you golfed in the solar eclipse. I have some other questions for you. Okay. Hopefully they're so, not too hard. <laughs> no, no, no. So, so you play, like you have an interesting YouTube channel, and and I've, like I'll watch it and things will come up and I'm like, yeah, I didn't really think about that. And you'll go to courses and you you, it's like you're telling a story. And and by the way, you're your videos are not very long, so you don't, you know, people don't have to really commit per se. Right. So, you know, you've also done, you know, different videos about, you know, unique golf courses and some of the golf courses you like, and, you know, you did, um, one where the course in New Jersey is for sale, right? I think it was, was it New Jersey? Yeah. Pomona. Yeah. Pomona so, golf course, yeah. so what, like, how, what is your thought process? Because I, for me, my thought process is like is just different, and I have some much different, many, many different things I'm going to be doing this year. Um, but like your thought process, because you will do like a Google Earth 
kind of deal and like do you know zoom in down so I, i'm really interested to understand what like how you think of your content and 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 what it is that you that kind of interests you about those things okay yeah no that's i'm glad you asked because that's i think we kind of relate together that it's you know it's we're kind of making content on golf and there's not many people doing that so you got to think outside. I, I try to think outside the box as much as I can, and I'm not that great of a, a video editor. So if I'm going to waste time editing, I want to try to learn something along the way. And, and I think that's where the top 10 Google videos come from, which, believe it or not, are, are, in my opinion, kind of target different areas that I wouldn't be able to get a reach on in my normal videos. So I see it almost two separate ways. I see my almost marketing videos, which are the top tens, and they're all opinionated, and it's just me learning about where these courses are, and I only target public courses as best of my account. And then you have, you know, my passion ones where I'm learning about the courses, and and I guess, John, what I'm trying to say is I, I feel like that one's more of marketing, and it's just the way that my mind is, is trying to absorb how YouTube works, I guess, because yep. I'm not going to, I'm not going to put too, two thousand dollars into a video my videos are very low base i mean i, I was able to do this for a couple hundred bucks so it, it's yep. just I, I i'm very and i saw your videos too where it's like you got to be careful spending a bunch of money on golf you know so yep. it's 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 something that i i just i just kind of go with my gut feeling and run with it and i realize that some, something's working with youtube and this is good advice just to kind of stick with it so um that you know so i've been trying different things not constantly and and again, yeah. it's it it really comes down to me wanting to do it. If I didn't want to do it, I wouldn't do it. So it's it's feeding yeah. a passion of mine. It's it's really it it's I love that you just said that because I get and I've I've touched on this in other you know podcasts or videos. You know, people come to me and be like, you know, you don't get many views. You know, why do you do it? I'm like, I'm not doing it for views. I'm doing it for me, right? And and for those, you know, that want to see it, that's great. If not, I'll throw it on on my TV. I'm like, man, I love playing at Broad Run. I want to watch play at Broad Run. I love Golden Oaks. I want to play. I want to watch myself play there. And, you know, there's a lot of, there's so much negativity, man. Like, there's so much negativity. I've had to block a couple people. One guy was like the most racist, ignorant, and it had nothing to do with golf. And he's, you know, he's like, saying like nasty things and um you know you kind of touched on it you know i don't like my entire budget for my podcast and all my videos 300 bucks like for everything i mean i use like i use a gopro right i use yeah, it's like it's not a gopro but it's a dji osmo i have a i have a really nice like eight hundred dollar lumix camera with that i use for some things but you know when i when i bought that it was really just for me to be able to take good pictures of my kids at their sporting events that's really all it was for the microphone here you know and the boom i don't know maybe everything all together maybe like a hundred bucks so like i had the action cam sitting around and i have a tripod that i got with points uh, from my old job. Right. Um, yeah, and yeah. you know, Ryan, one of the, the biggest things that I like watching about your videos is like, you're talking about the same thing I talk about is, which is affordability in golf. Right. And being able to go out and have a good time and, and not get crazy with the pricing. Now, some of the courses that I play are, are a little pricey, but for the most part, I, you know, I find a way to, to get out and just have fun. You know, I, I, talk a lot about i do a lot of filming at linfield national a lot of people hate that place which i don't understand why it's great and robert kleckner and his group uh the, of his team up there the course is always in great shape so um i do appreciate that about what you say and or, or what you do and, and your videos because you know you do the research right you do the research and say hey here's what the cost is here's where it's at here's maybe a better time to play and, and all that kind of stuff so i you know the the other part that you mentioned is you know you you put these videos out you might not have a high level of, of like production and all that like if you look at half the stuff out there it's really about being informed and and i'll say that i've through watching your videos you've gotten better so you know don't be too hard on yourself because the majority of people that want to do it, they'll do it for three or four videos. And then 
they don't do it because they don't get the views or they don't get, you know, hundreds of thousands. Like I just got a hundred subscribers on YouTube, you know, and it was like a year over a year and a thousand followers on Instagram. And I deleted probably 300 because they're just like spam accounts. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man, you, you, I, I really do enjoy what you put out there. So um, what are your golf goals for 2024? I'm big on goals this year. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's a good question. Um, I, I would love to hit some more States. So I'm at 29 States golf. Um, so I would like to hit some more States. I, I would love to work with, I was able to work with shiny golf course shiny in that you'll be going to which i'm yep. i can tell you that's that is an experience like none other that was a, a really great place so it, you know i want to be able to learn from these golf i don't want to say instructors but the, the maintenance people the maintenance crew the superintendents and, and and learn more about course maintenance so i can kind of tell a better story with my videos um okay but again i i will say it's all hobby based so it's like anything i i i, I try to um I try to have as much fun as I can, but I, you know, I can only play one or, once or twice a week. So I, when I do go out there, I take it very you know, serious. I get all my cameras and I, I have like a plan. But, yeah. Um, yeah. I, you know, it's, it's hard to say because I don't know where the heck I will be. So it, it, it's, right. it's all, it's all over the place. So I, I'm just trying to um, probably play more golf with friends. That would probably be a, a, a good thing to say. Okay. I, I think that's always okay. fun. I'm, I'm, I'm still in Jersey. I grew up in Jersey. Um, I left Jersey. I, I lived in Alabama. I lived in California. Um, I lived all, you know, kind of all over the place, really. And I'm back here in Jersey now. So it, it's I'm grateful to be around some some friends that I grew up with in grade school and things yeah, like that. So that's awesome. So what is your favorite? Let's go. Um, what's your favorite course you've played? What's like your favorite so far? I I almost want to say the Shining Inn. I really that was a that was real. I love the history there. Nineteen eleven. Um, I got my first hole in one at a a Tidding uh design course, which is which is okay. one of his. But of course, I, I grew up on Galway National, and and that was okay. not in a, not in a rich way, but it was just you know the street over. I would walk down to the end of the street. The holes, the first couple holes of that course were right there. So I would sell hot balls as a kid. Nets was fed. I don't want to say an obsession, but just kind of doing this, you know, just kind of feeding yeah. this as a hobby. Um, so Galloway National will always be my course I would want to play, you know, because growing okay. up there. Nice, man. Nice. So what what is the golf course that you want to play more than anything? Okay. Uh, I tell you what, it would, I, I would want to take it somewhere where I can go on a really cool trip, and it would want to be multiple courses. So okay. I would, you know, I, I really, you know, Egypt, like something cool like that would be like a really yeah. ex experience. Um, New Zealand would be, there's a bunch of great courses that I've never seen. Couldn't believe my eyes. Isn't, nice isn't there, isn't there like a huge resort with like 180 golf holes or something like that in Turkey? I, there's, there's I think. I tell you what, I haven't done that one in a while, but I remember there's a chunk of golf over there to where it's some yeah. course that I was like, okay, this is a good place to think about going to. Yeah, it's like know. the most densely, densely, uh, I guess, dense golf course, golf courses like in the world. But it's huge. It's like, you know, it, it's like the size of the state of New Jersey or something. Like it's insane. It might not be that big, but, it, you know, maybe Delaware. But um, yeah, man. So, uh, so what do you got coming up for, for 2024 that you want people to know about? Is there anything that they should be on the lookout for? Or uh, You know, it, I, I would like to get my Instagram up, you know, because I think that's something I haven't really, I didn't understand and navigate that. Um, you know, I, 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 would, I think I would like to try to get better at golf because it's one thing to, to go out there and do this and not be good at it. So I'm not, yep. I'm, I'm good at it, but I'm like, you know, I can chunk the ball and if there's a bunch of people around that's not you know that, that's not cool so uh, especially this is <laughs> you know, like, this is something you're like, this guy, time on. You're like this guy's out there with his camera and he's yeah. you know, taking yeah. videos and himself chunking Calling the ball himself right? the, the, the park fester and he can't even get right. on and, and yeah free so yeah, yeah. I, you know it, yeah no i i 
I take it very hobby based, uh, John. I'll leave it at that. I I, I try to. Okay. I don't do competitions. I know you're in that competition uh, based amateur event, which yep. I, I don't know much about. Well, so I would like to learn a little bit about it. Yeah, listen, uh, I can send you information. So you're talking about the AGS tour, the Amateur Golf Society tour. Um, it's you know super high level. Um, it it's it's not really competition based, but you can compete with everyone because it's all handicap based, right? So if you have a USGA handicap, you can play. And you know, I right now I'm like a thirteen seven or something like that. I will be a seven something by the end of this season for sure. I I am. I am working so hard on it. So to your point, you know, I do want to be better. I want to be able to provide, you know, I, I want to be able to play better and also provide some better videos for people that like might be interested in, in watching. And I have some cool stuff coming up for this year. I'm really excited. There's going to be maybe more production value because um, I'm trying to step it up a bit because I don't have really any other hobbies. It's kind of what I do. And I don't really drink anymore and i have no interest in doing drugs and this is kind of like the way that i feed myself and and uh you know i'm gonna be i i think i'm gonna be doing some cool things that might garner more and more um i guess more interest from people so uh yeah but from your perspective look man keep doing what you do because it's it it's getting better for sure and there are people out there clearly that are are looking at it and want to see it and you're you know you're different than most other people out there so the hardest part is to keep going right and if you're out there playing golf or you're interested in something it, and you want to share it with people man I, i'm all about it like you know i i i've watched gary vaynerchuk for years and he's like look if you like legos and you want to live your life with legos do it the best you can you know and um you know for me that's where i take it i take it not super seriously you know ryan i'll be out on the course and i'll be having a really bad day i'll just put the camera away and just play golf right because i don't want to put out a a product that you know I, that i don't even want to watch right but then some of those ones are the ones you get the most views on too you know, like when you hit a ball into a yeah, tree no. or whatever, and, you know, because because it shows yeah. you're human, right? And and here's the other thing, like even with this podcast you and I are doing, I don't edit anything. I put it into an editor, like if I have to bleep out like a curse word or someone doesn't want their face in it or something like that, I'll edit it in that sense. But everything that I do is a hundred percent just raw footage, and that's about it. Now, what I'm going to be doing is going to be slightly different. But my golf videos and the podcast and when I talk, it's a hundred percent exactly it. I don't chop it up. I don't do any of that stuff because you know, I'm a human being. Yeah. You know, and, and I want people to understand what the cadence is back and forth. And I think, you know, it's important for people to realize that it's not highly produced. I don't have a cameraman. I'm the cameraman. I'm the audio guy. I have my my wireless mics right here. Um, for when I go out, which I actually have to get new ones because they got wet. Um but yeah, man, keep doing what you're doing. I, I I really do enjoy your content. It's 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 good. It's informative. And look, I I might be hitting up you know that golf course that you were just at, and you know, seeing if maybe I can do a quick video out there. So, no, no, John, I I appreciate get, you know getting out there and, and talking with you, and um, I hope we're going to be playing golf soon because I'll bother you until until we do. So, no, no, no. Uh, that's all good. I, I. That's how it should be. That's how it should be. And I will uh, say, yeah, man, uh, we'll... go ahead. I had a quick go back because I, because, because I do get a lot of hate with you know in the comment section. But I will say, for every good comment, there's a bad comment. You know, it's just like anything. So that's yep. a, that's the mindset I had um, when I would think about that. So I tell well, you, you know what, what, what the other mindset is. Comments now. You know what the other mindset you can have is. If they're hating and they're putting a comment, that means they watched it. Yeah, well, that's I would say view. thank you for your you know watch I mean? time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I, that's exactly what I say all the time. It's like, hey, man, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And you know, then eventually they'll either go away or you have to block them or whatever. But you know, there's there's so much of that in in the world anyway. Like you just drive down the yeah. street, especially where we're from. Like in this area, you drive down right. the street, you you know, you don't put your turn signal on fast enough. Well, look, you Jersey drivers don't use turn signals at all. I know that. But like you're getting a you're getting a finger pointed at you, and it's usually the middle one. Yep. 
<laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. You're getting you're getting something, but um, and in Philly it's even worse. So you're getting something that you might not get over. But uh, yeah, man. I Ryan, I appreciate your time, bud. It's so great to meet you, like, and be able to have a conversation with you. And we'll definitely get out and play golf this year for sure. Um, you know, I'd we're let's try to find a unique spot to go to because you seem like you like to find those like unique spots. I like to find unique spots. Even if we don't film or do anything, just get out and play some golf and have a good time, have a good day. Yeah, absolutely, John. We'll get it in. That, definitely getting the awesome. So man. I'm looking. For, I'm looking awesome. forward to this content too that's coming out. So that's going to be good stuff. So yeah, it's it's going to be a little bit, um, but I'm working on some really cool stuff, you know. And and here's the other thing. Here's another thing I'll I'll, I'll say to you. You have to work in silence until you put your product out. Because someone will take your idea and run with it. And then like, it'll be like, what are you doing? And it happens all the time. I'm sure it happens to you. It's happened to me. You know, you talk about certain things and next thing you know, someone's taking that. I don't mind it because I always think like, hey, I'll just do it better. But it's going to be really what I have coming up is going to, I think, going to roll into something even bigger for 2025. And I can include more people which is going to be really, really fun. So, uh, awesome. yeah, man, don't, don't mind the haters. They're, they're still watching your stuff, you know? No, nah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, I wanted to leave it with a good comment that you, you're better off trying to do what you want to do because you can fail at what you don't want to do. And that Correct. was always something yeah. that, that always got to me that you're better off just trying to do what you want to do, you know, in life. So that, I, I think this is something we both, or, or passion in and, and feeding it is only going to lead to to good things in, in my opinion so. yeah look i i i get that 100 percent, and i'll leave you with this because this i'll put i'll put that thought process into something that i've experienced so it's like driving down the road in your car and making fun of the person who's out of shape that's running down the road trying to make themselves better I'm in the car making fun, and I don't do this, but just, you know, someone's in a car making fun of someone who's trying to better themselves while they're in a car not exercising, but that person's getting after it. It's the same kind of concept, right? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're, look, I, I think for sure uh, you should keep going because, I, I mean, look, I enjoy your content. I enjoy what you put out, and you throw those nuggets out, and I'm like, man, I was like, I, I really need to check that out. And to your point, I want to play more courses. I want to play you know, courses that, um, that I might not have even known about. Right. So I, I throw like every once in a while, I throw a map up on my, on my phone and just say, you know, find me golf courses. And there's some pretty great golf courses out there. And biggest part for me is affordability. And that's going to be something about what I'm putting together as well. So it's all about affordability and, and, and how you can really enjoy yourself with, with, uh, with that. So any, uh, any other closing remarks, man, or, no, I, 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 this was fun. I, um, uh, this is the second time I ever did a podcast. So I'm, I'm, I think this is a good thing, you know, to, to get involved in. So yeah. John, keep me, keep me in the loop. If I could, you know, if anything's popping out, if you want to invite me back, I'm, I'm more than welcome, but I want to play Absolutely golf will. more than anything now. So yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Well, look, I think we can do this and play golf. Right. Um, so yeah, man, Ryan, I appreciate your help and uh, coming on the coming on here and and just kind of talking about you know obviously this golf in the solar eclipse piece was really fun, really exciting, um, and again I I love the fact of how excited you were to do it because I mean I don't know how many people did it but you're the only person I know of right so maybe maybe you did something that not many other people did, um, it's, and the way you did it right so you were. Far. You were fully prepared, man. You were sending meteors out there onto the course, right? Which was which was great. Um, so yeah, man. Look, uh, I appreciate you coming on, and everyone can find you at Parfessor on social media and yep, yep, on Parfessor. YouTube. He's the he's he's Parfessor on YouTube as well. Uh, his videos are short, so you can you can watch a couple here and there. Uh, really good, fun stuff. And know that he puts, you know, he puts effort into every one that he does. And, and that sometimes is way greater than high production value because what you see is what you get. And that's, I think, the charming part about what you do. So I, I do appreciate it. Um, that will wrap up episode number 11. 
of the Bumbling Golfer podcast. Uh, again, Ryan Connolly here, the par, uh, you're not the parfessor. He's parfessor. And uh, go check his stuff out, man. Ryan, I appreciate your time, bud. All right, John, thank you so much. It was good talking with you. All right, man. I appreciate it.